in this video, we'll be talking about the organization of human genome. And before we go into the human genome, we'll first look into what a genome means. Now, this term genome was coined in 1920 by Hans Rinkler. And if you look into the dictionary, it says it's a blend of the word gene and chromosome. So that makes a genome. But genome is not same as gene. Because in gene, what we are referring to is a structure of DNA, unit structure of DNA, which is responsible for giving the phenotype. However, genome is a collection of DNA in an organism, which is responsible for imparting the structure and function to the entire organism. Now, genome, it can be virus. In virus, it can be DNA or RNA. It can be double-stranded or single-stranded. Prokaryotes, they generally have circular DNA and generally they have one copy but you can have multiple copies also and you can also have linear chromosomes. However, in eukaryotes the entire genome is distributed into linear chromosomes. Now one more concept that one should, should be clear is that genome refers to the haploid set of DNA sequences. The reason is because some organisms are haploid, some are diploid, some are tetraploid, polyploidy and so on. So therefore, when we are talking about genome, we are referring to the haploid set of genome. Now, when we look at the human genome, now human genome, apart from the nuclear genome, we also have the mitochondrial DNA. And in plants, we also have chloroplast DNA. So in the total number of genes in human is 26,000. That's been, up, that's an approximate number that has been identified till now. In mitochondria, there are 37 genes. The size of the human genome is 3100 megabase, whereas mitochondria is real, mitochondrial DNA is very small and 16.6 .6 kilo kb. The, the genome of nucleus is divided into 22 autosomes and the two sex chromosomes X and Y. Now the DNA will have structural genes, it will have functional genes, it will have regulatory genes, it will have non-coding genes and repet uh, repetitive genes. Now, the mitochondrial DNA is maternally inherited and it was sequenced in 1980s. It is circular double-stranded DNA and it's made up of 44% GC content. Now, the, the, the important thing to note over here is that the distribution of G and C is not uniform in both the strands of DNA. So, the Gs are on one strand so which makes it uh, a heavy strand and the Cs are on the other strand which makes it a light strand. Now, the cell may contain many copies of mitochondrial DNA. There are 37 genes that have been identified till now and all of them, they lack introns and they are very tightly packed. Now, an overview of human genome here will show you the distribution of different types of DNA sequences that are present. So, this So this nuclear uh, genome, it is 3.1 into 10 to the power 9 base pair, which is 3100 MB. And this is what we have seen. Now what you see over here is that this, uh, this nuclear DNA can be divided into genes or gene related sequences, which comprises 25% and the extra genic DNA, which comprises of 75%. Now, in the gene and gene related sequences, you have unique or moderately repeated genes. The unique genes are 10%, which are the coding DNA, and 90% are moderately repeated, which are the non coding DNA. The non coding DNA can, can be pseudogenes, they can be DNA fragments, they can be introns, they can be LTRs. On the other hand, in the mitochondria, the 16.6 .6 kb, you have two ribosomal RNA genes, 22 tRNA and 13 polypeptide genes. The extra clinic DNA, which is not coding for any uh, protein or RNA, they are can, they can be divided into unique or low copy number and moderately to high, highly repetitive DNA. The highly repetitive DNA will have tandem repeats or cluster repeats or they can be interspersed repeats. The coding DNA, the non-coding DNA, you will have pseudogenes, gene fragments, introns and UTRs. Now, what are the repetitive sequences? The moderately or highly repetitive sequences can be divided into two categories. You have tandem repeats and you have interspersed repeats. The meaning of tandem, tandem repeats is that they, the repeat sequences are present in clusters in the genome. Whereas tandem repeats is 
the repeat sequences are are distributed all over the chromosome. It's six o'clock. And the size of the repeats is the proportion of the repetitive DNA can be calculated by finding out the size and the length of the repeat sequence divided by the total genome size. Now the tandem repeats they are um, they are a, a, a consequence of strand slippage during recombination or it is unequal uh, crossing over. Whereas the interspersed repeats is mostly because of the transposable elements. Now, the tandem repeats, you have satellite DNA, the mini satellite DNA, and the microsatellite DNA. The mini satellite DNA, it's also called as VNTRs, and the satellite, microsatellite DNA, they are also called as STR. VNTR is variable number tandem repeats, and STR is short tandem repeats. The interspersed repeats, you have transposons. You have LTRs, which are long, uh, long terminal repeat elements. They are lines and signs, which we'll look, we'll see in the de detail in the next, uh, in the next uh, uh, session. Now, um, what is satellite DNA? Now, this satellite DNA, <coughs> satellite DNA, uh, they are very short highly repetitive DNA which is non-coding and you can see the, the size of the repeats can be 5 to 300 base pair it depends upon the species and it can be repeat, repeated 10 to, 10, 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power 6 times. Now why the, what's the meaning of the name satellite? Why the name satellite was given? The name satellite was given because uh, in a density gradient centrifugation when you use cesium chloride you see a uh, portion of the DNA which is running separately from the other chromosomal DNA and it appears as a satellite as you know the meaning of satellite so therefore it's called, referred to as satellite DNA. Now satellite DNA is present in the telomeric region, in the centromeric region and in the, uh, the other telomeric regions whereas the other repetitive sequences are interspersed all along the length of the chromosome. Now this mini satellite DNA, the DNA motifs are 10 to 10, uh, 10 to 60 base pair and they are repeated 5 to 50 times. They are present in more than 1000 locations. They are high mutation rates and it's VNTR, a variable number of tandem repeats. On the other hand, microsatellite DNA, the DNA motif size is 1 to 6 base pair, it's repeated 5 to 50 times and it's present in more than 1000 locations. They are also called an STR, short tandem repeats, or SSR, simple sequence repeats. They also have high rate of mutation. Now, the other uh, repeated sequences are the transposable elements. As you know, the meaning of the transposable elements is that they can change their position, resulting in mutations. You have long interspersed nuclear elements, which comprises 17% of total repeat elements. And 99% of them are dead, but other uh, the one percent they are active transposable elements the short interspersed uh, repeat nuclear elements signs it's 100 to 400 base pair long and they are non-autonomous that means they by themselves they cannot jump they have to depend upon the line for the movement the retro transposons are the copies uh, the copies by an RNA intermediate and they are two categories LTR that's long terminal repeats or the non-LTR which do not have long terminal repeats. Now the transposable elements are actually responsible for the difference between the different genomes. For example, in human there are 45% of the DNA is transposable element. In opossum it's 52%, in maize it's 81%. So this difference between the different genomes is basically due to the size of the transposable elements. So this is a, uh, about the organization of the human genome and there are other f other uh, features like the chromosomes that are present, the autosomes or the sex chromosomes, they do not have equal density of the genes distributed. Some chromosomes are gene rich, some chromosomes are gene poor or there are long stretches of DNA where there are no genes, so they are called as gene deserts. So this, the different features will be given, uh, I'll be, uh, I'll be uh, distributing to you 
in your uh, in the PDF that will go along with this video.